saints. Uh, today's scripture reading comes from Psalms 11. Psalms 11. Can we all stand? Psalms 11. We're going to do the whole chapter. One through seven. I'll read verse one, and then you, you'll read verse two, and so on until we get to verse seven. We'll read verse seven together. Psalms eleven. Psalms eleven. I begin. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul? Flee as a bird to your mountain. For the Lord, the wicked men have all. They make bread in their arrow upon the street, that they may fire the suit and the upright in the dark. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes are over the eyes of his tribes. The children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Lord have mercy. Upon the wicked, he shall bring his tears, fire, and brimstone, and horrible tempests, and this shall be the portion of their power. All together, verse 7. For the righteous Lord loveth the righteousness. The Lord had a blessing to the reading of His Word. At this time, we may have we'll have our altar prayer. If you like, you may come forward and kneel at the altar. All right. If you choose, you may stay at your seat. Our dear brother um, Mark will take us to the throne. Amen. this day, Lord, Lord, the day that you have given us a sound mind, Lord, to well, Lord, come yes. to church, Lord, and first of all, thank you thank for you. this day and this time and in this moment of prayer that we can look to you and give you our thoughts and our feelings, Lord, yes. lay them right yes. at your feet, Lord, so you can do what you have with our feelings to be done. Lord, you told us that you would always be with us through our days and our nights. So, Lord, we need you now. We need you, Lord, to wrap us in your arms and hold us tight. Lord, we ask you just to give us a sense of peace as we go about our days that you have it all in your hands. And that we are just here as a vessel for you to use to spread your word to your people. So again, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for the good times, Lord. We thank you for the, the bad times, Lord. We thank you for the tears, Lord, that sometimes we need to cry and let it out and so that we can start again, start those feelings again and continue to build you in us, Lord. Sometimes you just have to stir up those feelings that sometimes are uncomfortable. But sometimes un uncomfortable feelings, Lord, are the ones that drive us, Lord, that drive us to be better for you. So good, again, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we, we thank you for our parents, Lord. We thank you for those who have guided us along the way. We thank you for those who pray for us, Lord, who chastise us, Lord, for not being who you wanted us to be because they wanted us to be better for you and for ourselves. Lord, we thank you for just our community, Lord, because they're struggling right now, Lord. They're trying to figure out why. They ask me why 
why now, why this would happen to us. But again, Lord, we look to you. Yes, Lord. We look yes, to you Lord. for peace yes. that passes all understanding. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, not thy will, but your will be done in our lives, yes. in those lives of others. So, Lord, we pray for those who, who mean us harm. Lord, we pray that you change their hearts and their spirits. Lord, we pray for our government, Lord, who yes. has seemed to turn their back on everything that seems right what you would have. Lord, they, 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 they're they taking care of our finances, Lord. We're, we're struggling, and it seems that no one cares, but we know you do. Yes, yes, Lord. So today, Lord, we pray to you. We pray to you for peace. Lord, we pray to you for understanding. Lord, and we give ourselves to you. So, Lord, again, we, pray, we thank you for our, our, our parents, Lord. We ask you as they get older in their lives, Lord, that you keep them um, through the pain sometimes, Lord. You, you heal them. But most importantly, Lord, you give their hearts and their spirits just a sense of peace as they go through their day. Lord, we pray for our, pray for our children today. Because they're in a world that they didn't, they didn't make this, Lord, work, this world, Lord, but they have to live in. I mean, they don't understand what's going on and why things are happening. So we pray that they look to you, Lord, for understanding. So Lord, we continue to thank you, Lord. We continue to praise for all you've done. Lord, we thank you for our pastor, Lord. Because sometimes he carries the pains of others. And we don't understand. We give it to him and he prays to you for our sake. Yeah. So give him strength as he goes about your work in spreading your word to your people. Lord, we thank you for his wife, Lord, because without her, sometimes, Lord, we don't know how he'll make it because she holds him up when he's feeling down. Her confidence is his confident, Lord, and continue to strengthen to her. Lord, continue to pray. We continue to pray for this peace. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We continue to praise you. For all you've done, Lord. We can't say thank you enough. So, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. And all that you have done and all that you will do for us, Lord, continue to strengthen us and, and keep us whole. Protect us. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
folk here who come in here with a lot of weight on their heart, a lot of burdens on their heart. And so they're going to need you to sit by them or to encourage them, maybe even give them a glass of water. So we need your support. And then all of those of you who came who are regular church members, we need you just to be a part of Brother Jimmy's home home service. I, I saw him as a loving, faithful man. Amen. 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 Yes, now I can't say that about him. Amen. <laughs> I saw Brother Jimmy work his way through some issues and he would stand up every now and then and give his testimony. Yes, he and did. talk about how long the Lord had kept him Amen. from his past. Amen. Amen. What a testimony. And I, I just loved his spirit. So those of you who can help us tomorrow to say goodbye properly. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now that one I think is changed. What, what's the deal? What's the circumstances on this new page? It's got um, Larry 66 Jefferson. 11 6, 6 Jefferson. What is that building? Those are the new apartments. The new apartments Okay, the new apartment complex. Yes. Northampton and Southampton. And that will be directly after the funeral. Is the repass available to family only? And there's a big family of McLean's, yeah. <laughs> so it may not be moved for nobody else, but, but we do want you as church yeah. members to help yeah. us. What we normally do, family and friends, we normally facilitate. One last note about that is, those of you who have food supplements, maybe you cooked a pot, a pot of something or a turkey or something, we would ask you to bring them where? Uh, contact Sister Melanie. Contact Sister Melanie. Do you want them to bring their to food the supplements no, to no, the church? No, don't bring it to the church. Don't bring it to the church. 11 to 6 Jefferson will be open. Yeah, will be what time will they be open then? It's going to be open all day. Okay, so anytime. How do you be here? Okay. Yeah. So, so drop that off. probably would be in front of the market, especially because you're in the teaching. If you will help us gather those uh, heating things, and get them organized today so you don't have to be worried about that tomorrow. Because if they're going to bring the food early, we need to maybe prepare to kind of keep it warm. Whatever y'all do. Amen? Amen. Amen. I mean, Amen. 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 Amen, y'all. That's a part of being in the family. Amen? We're going to talk a little bit about that today because, because a lot of people have forgotten the value of being in the family of God. And oftentimes, they only call on the family, uh, guess when? When somebody dies. When they need them. You, yeah. yeah, something like this happens. And, and that discombobulates things. So yeah. let's us as a family show the world what it means to be a part of the family of God and just love them. Amen, y'all? Amen. That's not always easy, but that's God's call on our lives, Amen. to love them. Amen. And so I'm going to ask you to help us tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna, that, all of those of you who are officers and who will assist us, normally if the funeral is going to be, if the wake is at 11, they'll be bringing the body around 9-ish. So I'm hoping that Brother Jared or someone can help out to make sure the church is open and, and that we are ready. Okay, Brother Andre said they'll take care of that. Church is open and, and all of the necessary components. That may mean y'all will have to make sure we have fans, that we're comfortable, we're going to do our best to get the windows, but we'll, we'll do our best. The people next door. Oh, yeah, we've already notified them. Yes, we've already notified them. So, uh, it, it just means, y'all, that church really need to be the church. Amen. 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 We don't need to be just church on Sunday. Right. We need to be church come Monday. Amen, y'all? The body of Christ needs to be the body of Christ. Amen. 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 Now, I think that's all associated with that. Is there any other? Is there any other? Wait. The, the service itself and the repast, and, and that's 1166? Yeah. yeah. 1166, so I would imagine there's a man did coming around the back of the building? Yes, in the parking area. There's a parking area in the back, there's a door. Maybe whoever's going to receive the food need to have a contact person, maybe at the door, because I've been in there before, I'm not sure if the door is right there. So that's something we got to work out. Amen. And, and by the way, y'all, there are some other logistics we got to work out as a church. And here's what I mean by that. The choir has already thought through songs that you sing at a funeral. Well, we as a church need to work on those kinds of things. Because as we grow and mature, we want to become more professional at all this stuff. Amen? Yeah. When I say professional, y'all, I'm not talk, talking about putting on production. 
Or we want to be wise in how we love people, wise in how we facilitate. If somebody were to faint, hopefully we got some smelling sauce or whatever it is that's, that's necessary. Since Brittany is not here, but those of you, those of you who help out with those kind of things, we need to be mindful of those things. Amen, y'all? Amen. I hope we don't need them. But it's better to, need, to not need them and have them than to need them and don't have them. I mean, you, you have to drag somebody out of here because they've been fainted and you, you got to well, put them. You wish you had that spelling sauce, amen? Amen, amen. So let's, let's, let us make sure we take care of those details, brother trustees, sister trustees. Let's just make sure we, we do that. I mean, hopefully we won't need it, but I just think as a, as a church, it's wise of us to be wise. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank all of those of you who helped out. Uh, this is Brother Ronnie's last Sunday here with us. He's been so helpful. Can you stand, Brother Ronnie, and maybe just have a word of remark to Brother Ronnie? He's my, he my little brother, y'all. I should say my younger brother because he's bigger than me, I think. Amen. <laughs> bigger than me, probably. Amen. Uh, giving on to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the pastor, and to my church family. It's, it's been wonderful. Amen. Amen. Coming home. Amen. It's been a Quite a while because uh, not counting your anniversary, but I think it's been about 18 to 20 years wow. when I lived here. And to see the changes and to see everybody that's still here, it truly has been a blessing. And uh, I'll tell a lot of them, if you see a tear, don't come over here and mess with me because you might get knocked out. I, I'm not that big. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, when, Can I translate that, y'all? He mumbles up. He says, if you see a tear, don't come over there and mess with him, you might get knocked out. That's <laughs> that Texas city. We made it out. But he was with that third up. As when the spirit come upon me, the tears will flow. You know? Amen. We serve a God that can make you laugh and cry. Amen. Yes. At the same time. Yes. And it's been joyful. It's been Cheerful I, I was moved when tragedy happened. Here as well as all of you all. I also said to uh, Brother Jeff and to the pastor that don't y'all never take my name off this church roster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it from my heart. You know, even though I'm in Texas and stuff like that, Midtown has always been a big part of me. I think my sister in law, my friend sister now, you know. Sunday school started, Brother Kim, Good friend Jeff, Jerry, Sister Juanita, Brother Joe. You better stop right there because you'll miss somebody. Yeah, they might get mad. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> but it's been a pleasure, it's been a privilege to be in the company of you all, my church family here in Buffalo. Amen. I pray that y'all continue to keep me in your prayers, and I'll keep y'all in mind. Amen. Amen.
ain't a holy God. He's a personal God. Every tear that we shed, he has preserved. One passage of scripture says he knows the language of our groaning. Amen. Mamas know that. I, I, I was sort of being humorous on one occasion when I commented in a Bible study that I consider myself to some degree a dog whisperer. I know some people consider that funny, but I could tell in the house, in the bed, when Scooby barked, whether it was the postman, whether it was somebody just walking by, whether it was another dog, I could tell if he was curious, he had a certain kind of bark. And those of us who know our dog, you know, when that dog barks in there, he be goes nuts. I need to go see what's at the gate. Amen. Yeah, sure. Who is that at my house? Yeah. And he knows that's his dog. Yeah. Well, I say all of that to say, y'all, there are times when we, when we need to be just as sensitive to the Spirit of God. Amen. There are times when we need to sense. Somebody said to me recently, I'm all right in my head. But I'm not all right at all. Some things have gone on, and, and even though my head makes some sense of people who are crazy and mean, it don't stop my heart from hurting. And you need to know sometimes where God is, because God oftentimes wants to connect with your heart. Amen. He wants for you and Him to have a oneness. That's why we, as a church, we practice communion every first Sunday. Because we don't ever want your heart to get too cold. I'll say this and I don't want to be messing with the sermon. But I don't know if any of y'all, did any of y'all see on the news the young man's face as they would walk him into the courtroom and walk him out? He looked as, just as numb and as dumb as he could be. Well, that's usually the result of being a long ways away from God. All right. And the further you get from God, hear me good, y'all. It's like a battery that's been a long time not charged. That battery is almost dead. Maybe it's dead. Amen. Because if you leave it dead too long, you can't charge it. And that's what happens to a lot of folk that get away from God. Their hearts get hard. My prayer for us today as we experience this worship experience is that you always let God recharge you. Amen. Amen. The Bible says shout unto the Lord yeah. with the voice Ooh, the of triumph. And then you clap your hand. All that stuff yep. invigorates you. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I need to be invigorated sometimes. Amen. I need to be stimulated sometimes. And so I just want to encourage us. Jesus said, and I'm through with my commentary. Jesus said this. Y'all might remember the story of John 4 as he met a woman by the well. He said, he said he's looking for worshipers who will worship him in spirit and in truth. That's a good connection. Spiritually, you are one with God. There's your spirit and his spirit. And then it ain't just emotions. It's truth. I, I make a connection with God based on his truth. And I want us to begin to be that, or not begin, but to continue to become that kind of a person. So that even when your emotions are down, your spirit can still be up. Amen. 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 You can still take care of business. I, I, I could just share with you some of the events I've been in this week. I, I didn't know, I mean, I understood that there were nerve tissues under the skin of our face. But when those nerve tensors, tissues get cancerous, the doctors have to pull your skin off and go in under that and get that stuff out. Let me tell you what that means. That means you can't smile for a while because they have to know that. You can't talk good for a while. Well, where are you going with all this, Pastor? While God has given you a reasonable portion of your health and strength, Amen. while God has given Amen. you a reasonable portion, Amen. it ain't no big deal for you to say thank you, Lord. It ain't no big deal for you to clap your hands. It ain't no big deal for you to give him the glory and do it. So you don't know what you're doing. I 
way a door. So let me say this. Seeing is not just because you have your eyes open. Right. Is that right, Sister Keisha? Right. Sometimes you can have open in case see nothing. Yeah. So let's start thanking the Lord for little things. Yeah. Worshiping him for little yeah. things. He's been God to us, y'all, in the little things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let's, 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 don't, let's don't get to be a church that's cold and insensitive to the leading of God's spirit. Amen. Go ask the officers to make ready now that we might honor God in our giving. Uh, I, I still say this and I hope I will continue to say it that, that we are a church without gimmicks. We don't, we don't do uh, one, one pastor recently had it on TV. He came in on some kind of a suspension wire out of the balcony and as he came in out of the balcony on this suspension wire he had the Bible in his hand and he was doing some stuff and after he got through, he took up the offering. The people was all up and excited. Amen. We don't do that. We just want you to give a tithe and an offering. Amen. Amen. And we believe that if you'll do that, God will take care of his church. Yes, he does. Amen. Sure Y'all, it's been two years of pandemia and God is taking care of his church. Amen. Yes. Amen. So let's, let's us honor God in our tithes and in office. Would you stand, please? I'm going to ask everyone to stand and please follow the leading of the ushers from the rear of the church. Right now, if you need to use the debit machine, uh, Mr. Dirk, brother, brother Mark is right over here with the uh, debit machine. <laughs> Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.